Saturday, it was the 75th meeting between the University of Tulsa and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. We'll have all the details next on the Philip Montgomery Show. Montgomery Show, brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, by Pepsi. Now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Philip Montgomery Show. I'm Bruce Howard, and Saturday it was University of Tulsa taking on OSU, a longtime rivalry. And unfortunately, for the ninth straight time, Oklahoma State won the game. The final was 28-23, but what an effort by the Golden Hurricane, a game that tugged back and forth, and OSU had the better fourth quarter than TU, and they came out with the victory. In a moment, we'll have the lead-up to the game, and then first-half highlights. That's next on the Philip Montgomery Show. American. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. It's all fun and games, and of course, big wins when you play Carnival of Cash at River Spirit Casino Resort. Step right up and try your luck at a variety of cash prizes to win your share of $100,000. $25,000 every Saturday. Earn entries daily for two giveaways each week with one $10,000 and one $15,000 winner. So come on, come on. Join the fun and play Carnival of Cash only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> the 75th all-time meeting between the University of Tulsa and OSU with the Cowboys leading the all-time series 42 to 27 with five ties in the series. Let's get the run-up to the game now and first half highlights. My broadcast partner Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, Coach, here in Stillwater. It's always a tough place to play, and this Oklahoma State team came off a kind of a subpar performance, so you knew they were going to be a little extra fired up. What worried you most coming in here? I really wasn't worried about Oklahoma State. I was more concerned about us. You know, just our mindset being right. I thought we had a good week of work. Uh, I knew we were going to step out on the field and compete the way I know we can. It's about taking care of the mistakes that we had last week, trying to improve in those areas. I thought we did that for the most part. Um, but it, you know Oklahoma State's talented. You know how talented, especially they are defensively. Uh, but I think it was going to be two good defenses going at each other, and it's going to be the offense that just found that niche. And the first one to do it and make a couple of big plays was going to be the answer. As a matter of fact, that two defenses thing is going to come to you very early. Let's get to the first half highlights. Tulsa and Oklahoma State here at Boone Pickens Stadium. We're set for football. The University of Tulsa taking on OSU. Here's the kick. A line drive shot to the far side, and it goes five yards deep in the end zone. Has the snap and hands it off, and now angling off to the left side and getting about four is Brown. Brown, right at the numbers, was tackled for TU. Second and medium for the Cowboys. 
from their 30-yard line. Just underway, no score. Here's the snap. Back to pass Sanders. Throws to the right side, and it is dropped out in the far flat at the 35-yard line. Good coverage over there for the Golden Hurricane on Tay Martin. Martin dropped it, and Trayvon Fuller was right there to smack him. There's motion from right to left by Presley. Third down and five. Here's the snap. Snanders back to pass. There's a blitz and a throw on a slant. Is caught at the 40-yard line and down to the 41-yard line. And uh, on the reception, the shotgun, he claps and receives the snap. And the blitz is coming. And they hit him and sack him. It's good low with the sack at the 42-yard line. That's a nine-yard loss. And a sack for Goodlow, his first sack of the year. And the Golden Hurricane defense has stood here on this first drive, a 15-yard line. And it is Tom Hutton who averaged 45 in the first game, a high spinning kick, a little backspin to it, end over end. And a fair catch called for and made, 18-yard line. And the handoff goes to Prince. And actually, no, he keeps it as that was a read option, and Bryn read it. Second down and seven, back to pass Bryn. Big rush on, he eludes, and now he runs up the middle. He breaks a tackle, and he dives forward near the 30. The ball is free, it's loose on the turf. Are they gonna say he was down? OSU says they have the football, and that they have recovered. But we will see. Jarek Bernard Converse is the one that recovered the fumble. The question is, was he down? And I'm sure they will review it. The ruling on the field is the runner was down. It's first down. Okay, so that's your ruling part on the inner slot. On third down, back to pass Bryn. Looks right, now throws right, and that pass is intercepted near side, 35, 20. 15, 10, 5, that's going to be a score, a touchdown for Jason Taylor. Holding defense number two. Wow. 10 yard penalty, automatic first down. Johnson and Crawford, handoff, goes left side, and it's Shamari Brooks, big hole, 50, 45, outside the numbers to the 40, left side, inside the 40 to the 38 yard line, 13 yard gain for Shamari Brooks, and a first down for Tulsa's. Bunched formation, three receivers very close to the formation on the right. Fake handoff, back to pass Bryn. Now throws near side, caught by Crawford, 30. Outside the numbers, inside the 30 to the 26-yard line. There's a flag down, probably holding against Tulsa. Yard line of OSU, no score in the game. And they try a draw play, and oh my goodness, they were reading Tulsa's mail. They bury Shamari Brooks in the backfield deep for OSU, standing at the OSU 15. A chest high snap, and here's the kick, high, Backspin end over end. Presley takes it at the 13 on a fair catch. Hard line, no score in the ball game. Hurricane and OSU hand off right side. Warren this time, a lot of white jerseys, and he gets knocked down for a loss of a yard or two, maybe as a fourth guy on third down and seven. Out of the shotgun, Sanders has the snap, back to pass, has time, throws high in the air toward the near side. It's a battle for the ball, and it is incomplete. At the 26-yard line intended for Martin, good defense, and Tyon Davis was there for the Golden Hurricane. Second quarter, out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap, drops back to pass, has time, throws over the middle, and it is caught at the 46-yard line. Stokes hangs onto it and is down, and there is a flag down. It might be targeting on the Oklahoma State player. She shows blitz. Bryn awaits the snap, low snap, he handles it, back to pass, big rush on, he rolls to the right, still rolling, still rolling, now he throws downfield, caught at the 34-yard line by Crawford, and that's a first down, and that's a nice play by Davis. Bryn waits the snap, here's the snap, and he drops back to pass, big rush on, he is hit, and he is sacked, back at the 37, maybe the 38-yard line, and that takes Tulsa out of field goal position, it's a nine-yard loss. Here in the first half, no score in the game. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Out of the shotgun, Sanders awaits the snap, has the snap, and drops back to pass. Has lots of time, now throws, and it is caught at the 10-yard line. It's Bray who breaks a tackle, gets into the end zone for a touchdown. I thought I heard a whistle, but evidently not. He broke that tackle at the 10. It's a 26-yard touchdown for OSU. And he was spinning at the 10. I think Tulsa thought maybe he was down, but I don't think so. I think he kept on he kept on rolling. Kept. Clock is moving with 2.03, 2.02. Remaining here in the first half, OSU leads 7-0. Sanders out of the shotgun, has the snap. Fake draw handoff, back to pass, throws over the middle. It is intercepted at the 45 for the Golden Hurricane. Coming up with a pick for TU. It's right down the left boundary. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Justin Wright with a pick over the middle. And he takes it 55 yards for a score. And Tulsa's defense scores with Justin Wright. 
the junior from Abilene, Texas. Goodness gracious, what a turnaround. It's seven to six. So Justin Wright's interception and run back for a touchdown with less than two minutes to go in the first half makes it a 7-7 ball game at halftime. Second half highlights coming up next on the Philip Montgomery Show. the American. This one's for every service fan who just spent the entire game, game explaining to someone the entire game. game. You've compromised the nice and Pepsi Zero Sugar. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the health care needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. At halftime, the Golden Hurricane and the Cowboys are tied at seven. Let's go to halftime adjustments and get you to second half highlights. Here's Rick Corey and head coach Philip Montgomery. All right, thanks, Bruce. Okay, coach at the half, they'd thrown some things at you defensively you didn't expect. They'd mix coverages. They were doing some things up front with your, their defensive line. What kind of adjustments did you make at the half? Well, first of all, I mean, we just talked about our offensive line, kind of making some line adjustments to what they were doing defensively. And then it was, came down to just winning our individual battles. I mean, being able to get up on those linebackers. Malcolm, you know, he's a, he's a fantastic player. He's a tough player to, to defend. Uh, we did a better job of that in the second half, trying to find some run lanes in there, get our backs involved a little bit more. And then I thought, you know, passing game-wise, uh, took some shots in the first half, but the second half, those shots we started hitting, um, mixing some crossing things up in there. And Davis got a little bit more comfortable. and and uh, we started moving chains. Yeah, he was effective, Davis was, when it comes to overall numbers in the first half. But in the second, I saw a different guy. I saw a little more click in there. Did you feel the same thing? Yeah, I really did. I, but I felt that throughout our offense, not just with Davis, but it starts Great. with him, obviously. Um, but I thought we, we were picking up yards. We were doing some good things. We're still battling some down and distance things in there. Uh, but I thought consistently, we were kind of on track, on target, and our rhythm got a little better. All right, so it's going to be an offensive second half. Let's get to those highlights. Tulsa and Oklahoma State here in Stillwater. Second and eight, Bryn back to pass, throws it quickly, right side, caught by Prince, right side, 25-30, outer boundary to the 35, to the 40, and jostled out of bounds at about the 41, maybe the 42-yard line. Issues. First down and 10 for TU at their 42, longest pass play of the game for Tulsa. Fake handoff, back to pass, Bryn throws it high in the air, down the right boundary, and it is caught on the run at the 20-yard line, out of bounds is Crawford. Crawford beat the defender, he's out of bounds at the 18-yard line, and Tulsa has it first down and 10, their deepest penetration after a 40-yard pitch and catch. Near side left out of the shotgun. Davis Brin has the snap and hands it off up the middle, charging up the middle to the 10, down to the 7. Deneric Prince, second down and goal from the three-yard line. Here's the snap and the handoff off the right side. Prince, wide open space as he walks in for a score. Touchdown, three-yard touchdown run flag. for Prince. But we have a flag. Illegal substitution, defense, 12 players on the field. That penalty is declined. 
touchdown. On third down, back to pass Sanders, looking left side, floating it toward the end zone, and it is, they're saying it's caught, and it bounds. is out of bounds. I don't see any call by any of the officials to this point. No call yet. Looked like it was caught by Presley in the left corner of the end zone, and we still don't see a call. Larry Saunders. After further review, the receiver completed the process of a catch. It's ready to go. Here's the snap to Bryn, and the handoff goes to Prince off the left side. He waits for a block and then is able to power forward to the 14. Out of the shotgun, Bryn has the snap and drops back to pass. Steps up, now throws over the middle. A man is open. It's Crawford. He catches it at the 40 and down to the 36-yard line. That was a rocket pass from the 34-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Bryn, fake handoff, rolls out. Now a man in his face. He throws. It is caught at the 25-yard line, and it's Johnson. Right boundary toward the 15, down to the 10, inside the 10-yard line. To give Tulsa the lead. Snap is back, the ball is down, here's the kick, it's on the way, and it is good, and Tulsa retakes the lead at 17-14 with 10.56 to go. Motion defensively. Long will kick it off for TU. This is a line drive shot, possibly playable, and it is taken by Brown at the three. Up the center, he has some spaces, 20-25, comes to the near side to the 30, 35 to the 40, 45, the 50, left boundary, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, that is a touchdown, 97-yard return for L.D. Brown from the 11-yard line. Sanders out of the shotgun, to the right, one to the left, and the handoff Warren, left side, he gets hit in the backfield, but he breaks a tackle. Now he gets it forward. He skirts to the right side and scores. How on earth did he elude all of those white jerseys? He was down 28-17. Handoff up the middle. It's Watkins off the left side. 15 to the 10 to the 5 and down to the 4, maybe the 3. First and goal. Here's the snap. The snap to Bryn. The handoff goes to Watkins off the left side. Flags are down. Watkins struggles into the end zone. Touchdown to you. So the Hurricanes snapping the ball quickly. OSU was trying to make some substitutions. They couldn't get their guys off the field. Illegal substitution, defense, more than 11 players. That penalty has declined. Touchdown. So a score for Tulsa with 3.06 to play, and TU now makes it 28-23. Seconds to go. They are running the clock down. They have seven on the play clock. Here's the snap. There's the knee, and that's the ball game. 14 seconds to go. It'll be official. Oklahoma State has won yet again against the Golden Hurricane, but a terrific fight by TU as they led on a couple of occasions, 14-7 and 17-14. They score late but can't stop OSU, and lack of timeouts at the end didn't help any as well. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue, blue 125 year legacy. is find the true you at the University of Tulsa. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only only there for the healthcare needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve, offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. 
You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Welcome back to the Philip Montgomery Show. The Golden Hurricane falling by that final of 28-23 to Oklahoma State. And in our feature segment, it's all about the super seniors. There are 13 players coming back for that extra year after last year's COVID-affected season. And here's a look. There were very few positive aspects of the way COVID affected the 2020 TU football season. One was the fact that the Hurricane and head coach Philip Montgomery navigated the COVID storm as well as anyone, finishing at 6-3, and three, regular season co-champs in the American, and another bowl bid. But an ancillary positive COVID result was the NCAA's decision to allow seniors who had apparently exhausted their eligibility one more year. There were 13 players who decided to come back to Tulsa for their super senior season. You know, there was some uncertainty with it all, you know, because as we were getting closer to the end of the season, you know, they all had decisions to make and, and you didn't know who was going to come back, who wasn't. Uh, the majority of our guys elected to come back and obviously we were thrilled. Honestly, no, the decision wasn't a hard one, you know, just to come back and finish the things that I wanted to finish with these teams and within myself, you know. You know, there's records out there that still need to be beat, so, you know, it's a great team to come back and play with and finish things off with. It meant a lot. It really did. Um, it's always a blessing when you get the opportunity to come back and do a job like this um, and at a school like this. I was very fortunate. Coach Montgomery and the University of Tulsa allowed me to come back and get another year under my belt and um, really just be with the team for another year because ultimately the goal is to win a conference championship while I'm here, and we came really dang close to it last year, but this year we are full sites for it. So that theme of unfinished business weighs heavily on these guys and it's great to have another year to take a shot at it. I mean it's really important you know uh, not only important for me but for my team you know just to come back out here and just to dominate the game with them and just to finish strong with them go out and win the things that we always wanted to win. It's a special group of young men guys that have been around here for a while guys that have really invested into our program invested into each other and um, you know, I feel fortunate to have them all back with us. Another positive during preseason camp was with all these experienced guys, installation was quicker. Yeah, it really has. I mean, because of the experience that they bring back um, and the amount of knowledge that they have schematically about what we're doing, we've, we've been able to install a little bit quicker. You know, with this group, you've just been able to kind of keep your foot on the gas and, and they keep absorbing it, keep retaining it, and keep moving forward. All 13 super seniors have either received their degree or will soon. This strange COVID experience blows up the old adage that you only have one final season. For these guys, another chance to be with their teammates, another chance to play, and another chance to win. More on the Philip Montgomery Show in a moment. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Just find the true you at the University of Tulsa. The mission of St. Francis Health System to extend the presence and healing ministry of Christ means not only being there for the for your needs of individuals, but also making a positive impact in the communities we serve. Offering support through thousands of jobs and through causes that unite us and promote health and wellness for all. We show our gratitude for the opportunity to serve by living our mission every day. St. Francis Health System. Healthcare for life. Unlock the keys to luxury and start up a new adventure in a 2021 Volvo from River Spirit Casino Resort. Play and earn entries daily for your chance to win one of two Volvos to be given away in November. That's two luxury rides in two days, November 14th and the 28th. 
So come enjoy a little paradise. Grab your keys to luxury, then drive off in style with a 2021 Volvo. Only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Burgers, better with Pepsi. The final is 28-23, Coach, and it's obviously a difficult one to swallow. A lot of things, a lot of plays, a lot of big plays that are, you know, a couple of overturned things that are really, really key. I know your team feels like this is one they should have had, but they have another really big opportunity in Ohio State in a week. Yeah, I mean, tough loss. I thought our team laid it all out there today. Had, had opportunities again. I mean, the last couple of years, it's just been this type of close, close ball game. Uh, that being said, you know, the, the big special team play is, is, is tough to overcome. I'd uh, like to see where we were. Just let our defense play again. They've been playing so well all day. But learn from this one. We move forward. we got to have a great week of work. And then we head up to, to the shoe in Ohio State, and, and obviously it doesn't get any easier. No, oh, they lost to Oregon, so they're going to they'll be a little angry themselves. But last time you were there, you're in it in the first half. There comes a down four, a couple of interceptions. This team took really big strides game one to game two. If they take similar strides two to three, where do you think it'll come? Well, I think offensively just consistency, right? We knew coming in here, going to be a tough day on third down. Got to stay out of third and longs. We got in still too many of them. Um, but we got to run the football better than what we did today. Um, our defense also played well on third down, and so we're working that game back and forth. Uh, offensive line, we got to continue to improve. We got to get our run game going a little bit more, and then Davis just continuing to take what they give us. You got things open, go to work with it. Let those receivers get the ball in their hand and go. And. Uh, Good things can happen. All right, let's see if we can put together all four quarters. We'll do that next weekend at Columbus after Ohio State. Hey, guys, thank you very much. University of Tulsa on the road against Ohio State, who lost this past weekend. And Ohio State will come in 1-1. One and one. The Hurricane will be 0-2. But don't forget, the next home game is coming up on September 25th when TU entertains Arkansas State at H.A. Chapman Stadium. Get your tickets at 918-631-GO-TU or, of course, as always, TulsaHurricane.com slash tickets. For my broadcast partner, Rick Corey, and for head coach, Philip Montgomery, I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Philip Montgomery Show has been brought to you by St. Francis Health System, by River Spirit Casino, and by Pepsi. Philip Montgomery Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a Kane Vision production.